Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at this beautiful and all-new 2022 Dodge Durango RT equipped with all-wheel drive. Now this one came equipped with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 and it's paired to an 8 speed torque flight automatic gearbox. My goal with this video is to teach you everything you ever wanted to know about the Durango RT from pricing, what it's all about and so much more. I also like to extend a big thanks and special shout out to Matheson Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram for providing this opportunity featured in today's review. For more information about their dealership, including contact info in their inventory, please feel free to check out their website provided in the description box below. In this review, we'll start it up, show the engine, go through the performance data, as well as show many of the few features in the interior, as well as exterior. So without further ado, let's go and start her up and let it run. As you can see, the Durango RT does come standard with remote start. Now the smart key access system comes standard on the Durango RT, which is keeping the key fob in your pocket right over here. Tap this button once to lock, and have to wait in a second, grab behind the handle right over here, and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. This exterior color on the Durango RT is finished off in a red line pearl, featuring black interior with black seats as well as red color accent stitching. Push button start is also standard on the Durango RT. So if you want to start, all you have to do is to make sure you have the key fob within the interior, put your foot on the brake, and then just hit the button to go. Gotta love that amazing sound from that 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Now the Durango RT does come equipped with electrically assisted power steering, three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with your hands free telephone and your voice commands, cruise control and all your multifunction controls, we'll go over that later in the video. Now the Durango RT, just like other Chrysler, Jeep and Dodge and Ram models, is the all new 8 speed torque flight automatic gearbox with manual shifting over here if you want to shift it manually and via the paddle shifters over here with simulated gears. When you put the vehicle in reverse, you have your backup camera also with guidance lines and it's also standard and the guidance lines automatically adjust as you turn the wheel. Alright, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and flip on the headlights, it does have automatic lights, and we'll switch on the fog lights as well as the hazards. Now the Durango RT does have the automatic driver's side window over here, same with the passenger side. Now let's go check out the exterior, shall we? Now when you're leaving the vehicle with your key fob in your pocket, the vehicle will actually sound the horn a few times. It'll let you know it lost its protection at the proximity key fob. Now the all-new 2022 Durango RT does have the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Those are the same engines that are used on the all-new like 2021, 2022 models or like 2017 models um, such as the Dodge Charger and the Dodge Challenger. That's really cool. Even got your air filter over here. Really cool. Now the Durango RT does come equipped with a Uconnect 5 touchscreen with navigation, 10.1 inch display with FM radio, Bluetooth, as well as Sirius XM satellite radio. Enough to be lightweight. The next component is the tapping plate. This is the end of the can. Now on the touchscreen you can go to navigation. You can see where you're going. Access your phone. Some call it a flapper valve, but comfort terminology is anti-drain back valve. Where you can this control your climate, climate controls, change rubber, the blower fan speed, filters, change all the different zones over here, or you can control it down below. So what does it do? Front and rear defrost, all the different modes. Um, it allows oil to flow from the this oil one over here. Into the filter can you also have your screen off function. With the running, you can either touch the screen the or push this. When the engine is shut off, it really cool. You can go to vehicle if you like. Or positions that access your rear view camera oil passages to drain out overnight apps if they didn't have the anti -drain back now the Durango RT does have Not performance pages over here same as the Dodge if Charger the and the Dodge Challenger up and down, vertical position and we'll show the performance pages part of the 
You have timers over here for drag racing, um, gauges, coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, transmission temperature, battery voltage, intake air temperature, dyno slash engine, g-force, not vehicle dynamics, steering While angle. A lot of its composition is now on dyno slash engine, scroll it down. You got your torque, power, fibers, oil pressure, digital strength, speedometer, and gears. Its, to trap and hold dirt. it's really cool. Many inexpensive filters use a plain now over here you have your wireless charger down below, and as well as your four USB ports over here, one on that side and one on that side there, and your auxiliary audio input jack. On the multifunch controls, when you scroll up and down, this happens. You can access the tire pressure, coolant temperature, um, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, um, battery voltage, you name it. And RT, performance. A lot of noise is made in the industry about what the best end cap is. Braking distance. The end cap itself. G-force. A structural element. Um, filter. Lap timer. Only serves to hold top speed. That seals the ends it's really of the cool. Fram engineers began using engineered fiber end caps more than 40 years ago. You have uh, fuel ago. economy. They do this because they know um, that the trip A, glue is better when trailer tow, two porous surfaces audio. Together. You can see what's playing. No stored messages. Billion filters. This it's really way. nice. Nvidia now when you scroll left or right, when you're on Nvidia speedometer, Bentley, this happens, Honda, scroll GM right, switch to digital fact, speedometer, today, scroll left, Toyota switch it to the analog speedometer. Now we'll show the voice commands over here. Help. Sure. What can I help you with? I can help with navigation, phone, send a text, music, radio, climate. Cancel. Cancelled. Like, it'll walk when you through everything. Cold, it can be very now, down below over here, you have your traction off button over here. That turns off. Here and you have your parking sensors, your eco mode, which will actually gear the transmission a little bit differently and shift quicker at lower RPMs. And over here, you have your all your four different buttons. That's all your four different drive modes, such as snow mode, tow mode, sport mode, and track mode. It's really cool. And then now to mention your heated and cool seats and as well as your heated steering wheel. And you also have your trailer brakes down below, right where the start button was. Alrighty. We'll go shut her down. And we'll check out the rest of the vehicle. Now the back seat is a perfect place to sit inside the Durango RT. There was also room for six people inside this car over here. And over here, you have your vents over here. And you got your two extra USB ports over here. And your heated seats. And as well as your 115 volt AC power outlet over here. Which is really nice. And two cup holders over here. And you also have your storage pocket over here. Storage pocket over there as well. As well as the driver's side and the passenger side there. Now we'll show the tailgate. Right over here. And there's also a switch over here that will close the lift gate only. And the lift gate cannot be opened from that switch there. You have your privacy thing. It's really cool. So we're going to go ahead and close it. Nice. Now we'll show the passenger side. Same smart key system over here. It's really cool. And you also have your 12 volt DC power outlet over here as well. Glove box. It does come with the Uconnect radio instruction manual when you're using your brand new 2022 Durango for the first time. It does come with the owner's manual right over here. It's really nice. You got storage pocket over here. Really nice. The thing I like about this Durango is that it's got two 
95, 45 PR 20-inch rims, as well as some sporty tires, which is really cool. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy my review on the all-new 2022 Dodge Durango RT. Be sure to stay tuned next time for more videos. And remember, like, subscribe, favorite. Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. As always, be sure to stay tuned next time. There's always a lot more where it came from. Take care.